the Calgary Buffaloes Cowboys. Well, this is be the next team that I'll talk about. And when I remember the Calgary series, looking at Calgary sports teams from the past. Here we are up to number 18, episode 18, in my Remember the Calgary series. We'd say we're about getting into the final third of my video series. As I did plan out, map out 26 episodes in total. So here is number 18. And we'll talk about, as I mentioned, the Calgary Buffaloes and Cowboys. You could say the main gist of this episode will be actually one team. Is it just on two different names? But I'll also touch upon some various other Calgary Buffaloes teams that I could find that they existed in some records and a few players that were able to uh, make it to the NHL or play in the Western Hockey League. So this is what uh, this will be this episode. If you want to see my previous episode, episode 17, Last episode, I talked about the Calgary Dogs of the Western Canadian Baseball League, where that team started off in Calgary, but then they moved to Okotoks after having a dispute with Foothill Stadium with the then Calgary Vipers, and that will be another team that I'll talk about later in my Remember, Remember the Calgary series. But that was my previous episode, but this episode... We're going back to the rink after spending some time on the ball diamond with the Buffaloes and Cowboys. And then what inspired me to uh, do this Remember the Calgary series, as I mostly do talk Calgary sports on my YouTube channel, while well, I took in the Calgary Hitman Corral series in the 2018-19 season, as the Calgary Hitman played three games, done on three different teams from the past that played in the Corral. As well as local clothing company, Sea of Dead Clothing, which uh, they have specialized in putting on Calgary logos from the past. From the 1980s and 90s, some teams that I've already talked about in the series, and others I plan to talk about, and they've also shifted and talked about uh, showing some Calgary landmarks from the past, as well as the Chris Wilson jersey collection story, and I have all that in the description below, as well as all the other relics that I share in this episode as well as others in the past. Well in this particular episode it was hit or miss to find some uh, you know complete records of these hockey teams, the Calgary Buffaloes and the Calgary Cowboys. I was able to find you know a few relics that I share, which I always put that in the description below. So let's get going with episode number 18. So first uh, if you go to the Wikipedia page it talks about the Calgary Buffaloes, and this is a different Buffaloes team than the one that, if you go back to episode number 8, when I talked about the Calgary Centennials, that team in the first season was actually called the Calgary Buffaloes. But it was not this team. But uh, this team for the Calgary Buffaloes, is they were a Junior A ice hockey team that was based out of the Alberta Junior Hockey League. This is the early days of the Alberta Junior Hockey League, which right now... The Calgary Canucks are the only Calgary-based team that is around and still playing in Calgary. They were one of the five founding members of the Alberta Junior Hockey League back in 1963. The Buffaloes captured the AGHL title for each of their first three seasons, earning the right to face the Edmonton Oil Kings for the right to play the Memorial Cup. So there's some early Western Hockey League back in the day and Memorial Cup. All three seasons, though, unfortunately, the Buffaloes were defeated by the powerful Oil Kings. And then that's the Buffaloes part. And it also talks about, in 1965, the Crosstown Calgary Cowboys, which this is a different identity of the Calgary Cowboys. The other one that uh, I talked about in Episode 3, that was the World Hockey Association team, but that's a different identity of from this one as well. But uh, given that Calgary's known for its Western heritage and hospitality, it's no surprising that we've had some teams with those names, as well as horses, as well as you see throughout the series. In 1965, the you know Cowboys withdrew from the Alberta Junior Hockey League, with most of their players moving to the Buffaloes. So there was one, there were two teams, and then one folded and gravitated to the other team. Prior to the 1966-67 season, though, the Buffaloes then renamed themselves as the Cowboys, and then as the new Western Canada Junior Hockey League team took over. 
the Buffalo's name. So that was the, uh, which is the Calgary Centennials then, because that was the first season of the Calgary Buffalo's franchise that now if you follow that episode in that franchise today is the Tri-City Americans. So that was to, you know, get rid of that confusion in the league. The team would retain the Cowboys moniker until they folded midway through the 19. 67-70 season. So that's the uh, Calgary Buffaloes, this Buffaloes team, and uh, you know, pretty much the same thing that it says for the Calgary Cowboys. And on the Wikipedia pages, it doesn't uh, say anything about any records that uh, each team has. So we'll go to the Hockey Database pages that uh, there's several variations of the Calgary Buffaloes team. So on the first uh, Hockey Database page, it talks about the 1964-1966 for the Calgary Buffaloes. They played two seasons in the uh, Alberta Junior Hockey League team, 1964-65 season, in 16 games. They were 13-2-1, and one, and they were coached by John Kell. And then there was a program, but uh, it did mention that, uh, you know, they were a powerhouse team, that uh, they were played, taking on the Edmonton Oil Kings back in that day and that franchise has had a few variations over the years as well but the Calgary Buffaloes were not able to beat them to have a right to play in the Memorial Cup so that was this team and then the all-time roster there there's no any names that stick to my mind that uh, that I know that you know went on to uh, play in the NHL and then there was another and this is the Calgary Cowboys in the 1964 to 1970 team that uh, took over the Calgary Buffaloes name when the Buffaloes, that name was a new team that was in the then the Western Canadian Junior Hockey League, which now is the Western Hockey League today. Actually, one name that sticks out that played on the Calgary Cowboys in the 1960s is John Davidson. Yeah, that same John Davidson that uh, he played goal in the NHL. He was most notably, especially during my time, that I remember John Davidson more as an executive and a broadcaster. I know that uh, he spent some time in the NHL with the New York Rangers, and I know as an executive he spent some time with the New York Rangers, the St. Louis Blues, and I believe he also spent some time with the Columbus Blue Jackets. So, yeah, that scene. John Davidson, it's a shame that uh, he did not spend any time with the Calgary Flames because John Davidson spent a lot of his hockey journey in Calgary. So that's all I got for the roster for the uh, Calgary Cowboys. As uh, there is a uh, records here from 1964 to 1965 till 1969 to 1970. Well, the Calgary Cowboys uh, overall in the five seasons in 188 games, they were 36, 141, and 11. So they only had a winning percentage of 221. So maybe that's one reason why that team wasn't as successful, but I was able to get a clipping of the program that I put in the thumbnail for this Calgary Cowboys team. So that is the main gist that followed the Calgary Buffaloes. And then there was another Calgary Buffaloes team. This one existed in 1946 to 1948, and they were in the Southern Alberta Junior Hockey League. It uh, only has one, well, in the two seasons that they existed. They played 29 games. They were 15, 12, and 2 with a 552 winning percentage, but it was the second season that they were more successful as they were 12 and 6. The first season they were 3, 6, and 2, and they were coached by Sam Timmons, all time roster. There are some players that uh, they do list, but not everyone. Well, I know Stu Hendry was another player that. Uh, there's an arena named after him here in Calgary. So that is that Buffalo's team. And then another Buffalo's team that uh, existed from 1948 to 1954. This one played in the Western Canada Junior Hockey League, the earlier days of the Western Hockey League that we know today. And one of the programs that, uh, that was shared on the Hockey Database website. I was able to clip that and put that in the thumbnail. But this team, they played six seasons in this league, and they played 228 games overall. They were 81, 133, and 14 for the 3.86 winning percentage, so they didn't have as much success. Their best season 
I would say it was their first season in 1948 to 1949. In 32 games, there were 20 wins, 9 losses, and 3 ties. But their worst season was their last season, 1953-54. In 36 games, they were 3-33. and 33. And then, once again, their all-time roster. I mean, there was no names that really stands out. But there's no any player stats to uh, share that, uh, that they were able to find. That's the one thing that's trickier with some of these junior teams from the past. Especially when you go way back, that there's no records. And then there was one more Calgary Buffaloes team that I found on the Hockey Database website. This came just before the, uh, you know, the Alberta Junior Hockey League team in 1960-1963. This Buffaloes team played in the Central Alberta Hockey League, which is a senior amateur league. I got no uh, records for uh, how that team did that season. All I know is that they have a coach with the name Napoleon Bunny Dam. <laughs> so that's an interesting name. There is a roster which uh, you can see in his websites, but uh, no stats to uh, share, like, who was a top scorer or, you know, who was most famous on a team. I just know that uh, Stu Henry was one name that stuck out, one of the teams. And John Davidson, because John Davidson eventually went on to be in the NHL and also known for uh, his broadcasting and executive career. So that's all the hockey database and the Wikipedia links to that. But I have some more buff, bonus buffaloes, they'll call it, in the description that I found tripped on some fandom pages. That uh, there is the Calgary Buffalo Hockey Association, which you can still say they kind of exist right now in the midget teams that we have around the city. I know that uh, we have the Max Midget Hockey Tournament. I'm not too sure if they still call it Max now that Circle K bought the company. But uh, all it says on this fandom page is that the Calgary Buffalo Hockey Association is a junior and youth and junior hockey organization based here in Calgary and the organization goes all the way back prior to World War II and then the present organization sponsors two teams there's the Calgary Junior Hockey League, the CBHL, Blackhawks and CBHA Rangers so uh, there's some interesting relics that I have found on this page not much information available prior to the regularization of the association in 1943 but there's a team picture of the team from 1947-1948 and then the history of the organization dates prior to World War II and it was the oldest minor hockey association in Calgary. Previous players for the Calgary Buffalo Athletic Association such as Sam Timmons, there was one coaches of that team, Joe McGoldrick and Gord McFarlane were associated with the organization of this program in 1943 such as businessmen backed by J.B. Cross, Jim Kerr and Dave do check, and then it mentions the CBHA for 1943-1945. 1943-44, you had six Pee Wee teams, about 13 years old. And then 44-45, you had six Pee Wee teams, six midget teams, that ranges between 14 and 16 year olds. And then it says 45-46, you had six Pee Wee, four midget, and four juvenile teams, so all under 18. And then 1946 to 1954, you mentioned six Pee Wee teams, four midget teams, four junior teams, four junior B teams, one junior A team. So uh, this program definitely has spread out. And then the games, they actually played at the old Victoria Arena, which was the old arena before the Stampede Corral that uh, opened in 1970. And then it just goes on about uh, lots of uh, famous names. How in 1943, there were prominent players that we take, for instance, Peter Lougheed, yeah, the former... Uh, Alberta Premier played in this league, and you've got Ron Southern, Fru Atko, Smooth Meadows, Don Hartman, the city alderman, and then you have Stu Finley, Hank Basson, Bob Taylor, Frank McCool, Ron Stewart, and John Davidson, among those who went on to play in the NHL. So that's where that one name stuck out with John Davidson, that uh, they played in this program. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, mentioned things. And then I know that uh, also the Calgary Buffalo Old Brewery was also inspired by this as well. So that's I was just paraphrasing what uh, you can find on this uh, fandom page that uh, I'll put the link in the description below. But yeah, it's, uh, they're still kind of alive in a way. But uh, it's been a very, very long history with very many teams. It's not just one identity to associate with. And then I found another link that mentions Calgary Buffaloes, and I guess it mentions WHL alumni. 
and these are players that played in the 1970s, including Ted Geely, defenseman, Lyle Moffitt, left winger, defenseman Al McLeod, and then left winger Bob Lillington. So uh, that's all I can find on these uh, Calgary Buffaloes and Calgary Cowboys when it comes to the uh, this particular iteration of the team for my Remember the Calgary Series. I know some episodes it's hard to find uh, relics or any other records because I couldn't tell you who is the leading scorer of all time or, you know, what else, uh, anything famous or in famous happened or how the series or seasons go. But it was very, very missed. You barely was able to get some team records, some players on the roster. But it's still able to find some relics to uh, share for Calgary hockey history when it comes to the Calgary Buffaloes and Calgary Cowboys. So, may I dare ask, because I always have to ask the question at the beginning of the episode in spirit of the series, is what do you remember from the Calgary Buffaloes or Calgary Cowboys and of the Alberta Junior Hockey League? I know that uh, most of my demographics, when I see my analytics, that... Uh, most people that watch my content, this also predates them as well. But I always have to ask the question. Anyway, so uh, I think that's all I have for this particular episode, number 18, for the Calgary Cowboys and the Calgary Buffaloes. So for the next episode, episode number 19, what I plan to talk about is we'll talk about some more hockey teams from the past. However, let's go back into the World War II era, as we mentioned that a few times, about how long this Buffaloes... This hockey Association has gone on in Calgary, but in episode 19, we're going to talk about a few teams because there was a Mustangs team, there was an A16 Curry Army team, and I know there was a Victoria team as well that all encompassed Calgary. That we'll talk about that in the next episode. And all I could really find for a thumbnail I could use for the logo was just the you know the standard Canadian Air Force logo, but you know the blue circle and the maple leaf. That's uh, we'll talk about some wartime hockey in the next episode uh, as we get in as I say to the final third of my remember the Calgary series so uh, I say what else do you know about the Calgary Buffaloes or the Calgary Cowboys when it comes to the Alberta Junior Hockey League or all the various Buffalo teams that I touched upon and put the links in the description below so as I say if you want to follow along with this Calgary sports fans journey Home the Flames, Hip, and Roughnecks, and Stampeders, and formerly the Calgary Buffaloes and the Calgary Cowboys. This iteration that I've talk about, talked about in this episode. And I mostly do talk Calgary sports on my YouTube channel, but I also do have personal vlogs, attempt to comedy, and I also do share my experience time on the road or a sport event. So if it all sounds like you'd be interested to watch to follow along this Calgary sports fan's journey, you know what you do, just uh, make sure you hit like, subscribe. I also have my other social media links down in the description below for other ways you can follow me, including, you know, what's up in my Remember the Calgary series. As I keep saying, it's definitely been fun to look back on Calgary sports teams in the past, and uh, thanks for all the inspirations that's been out there. But uh, some of these episodes, it's been a little trickier to find... Uh, anything to share or find any information on, but I guess you expect that. When we're looking at some teams going back, you know, 70, 80, 90, or 100 years, as there was a couple teams that were going back 100 years in the series, but, uh, you know, we're getting into the final third, and, you know, there's a couple more teams that we'll talk about, and there's one team in particular that I think most Calgary sports teams from the past, I would say, miss the most. So, as I say, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode or next video whenever you choose to watch on my channel.